okay so now we have a fully functional cutscene but you guys will be thinking that what if we get uh, back from the main menu to this main game scene okay which is this one as you know that the player and everything else will be deactivated okay for example if we continue our game from the main menu it will show this cutscene as well okay so we actually don't want that for this we will be writing on another script in which we will say that if the game continues then we will play the game from that point okay and we will activate all of the player things and if the player start the game from the beginning then we will show this cutscene okay and this everything else will be deactivated like this and the cutscene will be activated okay so in order to do that right here in our cutscene scripts we will be needing to create a new c-sharp script by the name of game manager it will actually manage our game that if the game is in start mode or continue mode okay and as you can see when we name it as game manager it just changed the icon of the script to this okay so for this let's create an empty game object by the name of game manager as well and to this let's attach the script and then let's open this up and also if we go in here then inside the ui let's open up the main menu script as well okay now as you can see we have this continue game and start game so right here we will say that if this is true then we will show the cutscene and if it is not then we will continue our game from where the player left okay and as you know we already have an instance for this main menu script so we can just first of all go ahead and add our references of what things which we will be activating and deactivating so as you know that we already did that on our cutscene ender so we can just simply copy this from there click right here and paste it and then this will be all of the variables let's say game objects one and game objects two i know i'm bad with the names but you can just name this accordingly so now we want that if the game continue then we want all of these things to be activated and if the game is being start from the beginning then we want this to be activated and this game objects want to be deactivated and with this also add a reference to the player script okay because on the player script we have the save and load function and right here as you know that when the game continues okay we will be having a if condition right here for the continue game so if the game continues then we also want to activate all of these things and we also want to load the data okay the previous data so that's why we need a reference to our player script as well and once all of these things are right here and what we will do we will create a start function and inside the start function we will say that if main menu dot instance dot continue game is equals to true okay if it means that if the player clicks on the continue button then what we will do we will activate all of these things and deactivate this one okay so if you click on the cutscene ender right here okay we want to activate all of these things so we can just copy it from here and paste it in here and as you can see main player main camera and everything is right here okay and also we want to deactivate the cutscene timeline and everything so we can just copy that and after this paste it okay so it will just activate this and deactivate this one and also when the player clicks on the continue button we also want to load the old data as i told you so for the old data we just simply want to type player dot load player okay this is the function on our player script that is it that is all what we need to type right here okay now we can just simply copy this and paste it down below and this time we will say that if the start game is equals to true then in this case what we will do let me copy this false paste it right here 
okay all of these things will be deactivated let's remove this old data now and let's activate these things so we will say true true and the same for the other ones as well true and right here true as well that is it that is all we need to type okay so now this game manager will work perfectly fine as well and now if we get back right here before doing anything let's get back to scripts then player let's open up the player script and from the player script remove this thing okay because we don't need this now right here because we have a script for this one right here which is the game manager so delete that from there get back right here again and now if we click on this game manager right here let's add all of the things so the first one is the main player then main camera then third person camera then aim camera cross here the player ui then the minimap camera minimap canvas then the save canvas then the police officers then the gangsters then the police officer script okay so in this three we will just drag and drop the waypoint origin like that okay waypoint origin and then for this one let's drag and drop our cutscene timeline then player cutscene then rebel 1 rebel 2 then the bus then the cutscene camera then the show player collider then the cutscene ender and at the end we need the player script reference so in this we can just drag and drop the player like that and that will be it so now for example if we start the game uh, from this point it will of course show the timeline or you can say the cutscene okay it is giving an error in the game manager it say object of reference is missing on 38 let's check it out on 38 what is missing nothing is missing the main menu dot instance dot continue game equals to true okay I get it the reason it is uh, showing this error is because if we check our uh, safe canvas in here I mean not in here on our main menu script okay it is uh, showing that the main menu script is missing and also as you know that now we have this if else conditions okay this if conditions so what this means in order to get around that error now we need to start the game from the start okay so if we go on the scene then open up the main menu now we need to start the game from this point okay because from here the continue game and start game will be set to true and that must be set to true because now we have the game manager okay so now if we click on the start you will notice that it will start the game from the beginning from the cutscene actually as you can see it shows starting and now when we click on the start as you can see the new game is started from the beginning as you can see in most of the games when we start the game from beginning it shows the cutscenes just like in most of the GTA games okay so as you can see we have the cutscene right here we need to deactivate the player right here okay because we don't want the player to be showing right there hey, okay so now as you can see Show it, it starts from the beginning and now if we play the game again and now let's click on continue and let's see if it continues the game or not and as you can see when we click on the continue it just continue the game from back right here as you can see our mission one was being completed we have the money right there and if we check our inventory okay we don't have anything in the inventory but as you can see now it continues the game from where we left it as you can see okay 
So this means that the start and continue is now working perfectly fine. Okay, and as I told you, in order to get around that error, because now we can't start our game from this uh, point, okay, from this town scene, because it will give us an error. So now we need to start the game from the main menu because now we have the game manager in which we have this if conditions so this if condition must be set to true okay and that can be true from the main menu scene so now as you can see everything works perfectly fine and the last issue which was remaining was that when we start the game you notice that it showed the player right there standing okay and actually we don't want that so as you know that whenever the bus hits the collider then we activate the player okay right here as you can see we activate the player so on the game manager right here when we start the game we don't want the cutscene player to be set to true okay we want it to be set to false that is it okay now it will not show the player you can now just test this by your own okay and now as you notice that our cutscene works perfectly fine when we start the game from the beginning okay the start game continue games work perfectly fine let me test it out to you guys again if we click on this scene click on main menu let's click on game click on maximize let's play the game and you will notice that the game is now running if we click on continue okay it will take um, some seconds so just wait for it and as you can see now the game is being continued from where we left it okay which is uh, the dollars and missions and everything is right here and now if we close this and let's play the game again okay now if we click on the start now in few seconds it will start the game from the beginning let's wait for it as you can see it shows the cutscene right here as you can see okay so this means that now everything is working perfectly fine as you can see okay it shows the cutscenes and when the cutscene ends you will notice that our game will start from the beginning and you notice there was no player right there okay and now as you can see the player is right there okay so everything is working perfectly fine now we have a beautiful cutscene hey what's in the bag show it to me it's none of your business just give us the bag or we will shoot you right here right now now as you can see the cutscene simply ends and our game starts from the beginning as you can see so in this way you can add your own cutscene if you want okay and when you add your own cutscene you will be ready for your own game okay as you can see now our game starts from the beginning let's go ahead and complete our first mission if we get closer to our player house okay as you can see minimap everything work perfectly fine now let's save the game now okay as you can see your game has been saved okay you can notice the 650 dollars and everything okay mission one is passed and now it shows mission two so now if we close the game let's start the game again and let's click on continue and see if it continues the game from there or not let's click on continue and as you can see it start the game from the exact point where we save it now we have the 650 dollars and the mission 2 is being activated and everything works perfectly fine as you can see okay so with our cutscene now fully created and fully functional okay and we have a fully functional game manager now as well and with all of the animation, audios, everything set up, I hope now you understand how to create your own cutscenes. Okay, I have explained everything in details. So right here, I will ask you guys for a favor that please give this course five stars, okay, and a good review. I have explained everything step by step, and I hope you understand how this cutscene works. And I hope you can now create as many more cutscenes you want, okay because i have explained everything step by step how you can add animations how you can 
change the transforms in the cutscene and also how you can add audios and then you can move the cameras okay i've explained everything to you step by step and with all of this done let's end this video right here